Advent is one of my favorite liturgical seasons. Maybe it's because the ordinary time that began when we finished the Easter season seems like such a long time and, well, so ordinary. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki of the Apostleship of Prayer with some thoughts about Advent. Do you know what Advent means? It comes from the Latin word that means coming, an approach or arrival. What is the approach or coming that we anticipate with this season of Advent? I'll bet that you first thought about the coming of Christmas. Advent is a time of preparation for Christmas. That's true, but it's more. Advent is a time of preparation for the celebration of not only Jesus' birth, but some other comings. Christmas was Jesus' first coming, but there will be a second coming when the world will end and the dead will rise and the final judgment will occur and the kingdom of God will be established forever. Our Advent season includes thinking about that coming and even praying for it, praying for Jesus to come. The last book of the Bible ends with these words, Come, Lord Jesus. But there are also two other comings that are part of Advent. Our anticipation of the feast of the birth of the Son of God should make us more aware of how he continues to come to us in Holy Communion. Jesus became flesh so that he could give us his flesh and unite himself to us even while we wait for his second coming. And lastly, our time of Advent should make us more aware of those in need, the poor, the sick, and anyone who is suffering. For as Blessed Mother Teresa and other saints knew so well, Jesus comes to us as well in the distressing disguise of all those who need our help.